How you feeling, Allie? But thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some big news. If you watched my most recent video, you probably know who this beautiful girl is. Her name is Allie. And uh, we're pretty excited about things. <laughs> I don't know what to say. You don't need to say. Just, that's perfect. That's great. One of the things a lot of you were asking is who is Allie? What does she do? So who is Allie and what does she do? Hi. <laughs> Hi. You don't need to be that formal. Um, I'm going to totally adapt to this situation. She's um, not a YouTuber yet. I am not a professional YouTuber. Well, tell them what you are. My name is Allie and I'm not a professional YouTuber. Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am a writer and a filmmaker and I live here in Boulder, Colorado. Um, I'm also an athlete, runner, biker. Skier, all the good stuff, rock climber in a former life. What's yeah. your favorite ice cream? My favorite ice cream is fish food. Ah, what hold on one second. Let's see if we have some in the fridge. This is the best ice cream in the world and we both happen to love it. You know it's real love when you have the same favorite ice cream. We're so excited about life right now. We met about three months ago and it knocked all of our socks off. You can see we're not even, we're still not wearing socks because the situation was so powerful. We've fallen madly in love and um, this summer, I was going to plan by myself to ride a bike across the country. My friends at Trek were going to sponsor the ride and I was just going to go across the country and have a great experience and share lots of videos with you. But then I met Allie and we quickly fell in love and I was like, I don't want to leave Allie for two and a half months. So I called Jocelyn at Trek and I said, hey, can my new girlfriend come on the ride too? And so we're going together. We're going to ride bikes across America. Should we tell them what kind of bikes we're going to ride? Ooh, yeah, let's do it. So, Trek has a brand new awesome gravel bike called the Checkpoint. You want to see it? Poof! Look at it. Here they are. Yours should be in front. Yours is really pretty. Mine should be so in front. So this is the Trek, Trek, it's hard to say, Trek Checkpoint. And it's their new line of gravel bikes. And we're going to ride these all the way across the country. And um, why are we riding gravel bikes? Because we are going to try to stick to the back roads. We yeah. want to take the paths less traveled upon so that we can meet the people who live out there. Yeah. So we want to tra type, take as many rail trails or whatever we can do to get off the main highways. Of course, we're sometimes going to ride main highways. Um, we're going to start in Portland, Oregon and go all the way over to her hometown of New Paltz, New York. <laughs> I've been on a lot of cross country bike rides before. And my favorite part is meeting people. And I really am excited to do it again. I've never done a Northern route, so this is gonna be a first for me. And what are we gonna to talk to people about? Yeah, well, when Ryan first told me about this trip, um, he was telling me about how he was gonna go across America, um, talking to Americans who he didn't usually get a chance to connect with here in the bubble of Boulder, Colorado. Yep. Um, after the elections, you know, there was a, um, a big shift in, I think, our awareness of the diversity of the of face of America. And... Well said. <laughs> She's good. She's way more articulate than me. Um, it's certainly something that I have a deep in interest in. Um, after the elections, I was part of a campaign that's goal was to, um, you know, create voice of unity in really divisive times and that was what Ryan was saying he wanted to do with his trip. Yeah. Um, he wanted to share the voices of people whose stories were otherwise and not heard. Um, so we've kind of changed that a little bit but that's still at the, that's the, core. At the core of what we're doing. And what we've changed is that since we're in a brand new relationship we're both very excited about this. We're going to meet people all over the country and we're going to talk to them. We're going to talk to you about your advice for love and relationships and how to make it work, right? Absolutely. I think it's cool. And I am really excited to hear love advice from people who I have never met before, whose type of life I've never even thought about. Um, that really makes me excited. I'm yeah. sure that there's some really good advice out there that I've not encountered in my pretty limited social sphere. And love is something that everybody can relate to. Everybody loves their wife or their son or their daughter or their husband. 
and it's something that connects all humans. And I think that's what this ride is all about. It's, a, it's about connecting the people we meet along the way and sharing their stories with you. And I'm gonna try my hardest to, to edit as many videos as possible on the road. It's going to be hard sitting in tents on our computers doing this, but we're gonna do it for you, YouTuber audience, cause I love you! Um, yes, the reality is that we do live in divisive times and love is a bridge, not only between us, but between all of us. Oh, damn. Yeah. Did you prepare that? No. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I've been thinking about our pitch. Should we add that it might be hard to find these back roads and it might be hard to find these people for exactly the reasons we've talked about, so we need their help? Like that's, that. that's where you come in. We're gonna be asking you out there in the YouTube social media world, if you see us uh, out there in, you know, we're gonna be doing this on Instagram and Twitter. You're gonna know exactly where we are. If you're like, hey, my cousin lives over here, or hey, I know of a trail over here, just tell us. We wanna go where you send us. Kind of a choose your own adventure route. Choose our adventure. Yeah, because we don't know where these trails are necessarily. We don't know where the people are that we should be meeting, connecting with. So we're really excited to have you help us yeah. find them. And here's something. So this is, this what we're doing is kind of risky. Everybody we've told that we're gonna do this, they're like, wow, that's gonna be quite the test on your relationship. <laughs> and it is gonna be hard. I've, we've both done very difficult adventures and not only are we gonna be dealing with, you know, severe exhaustion, but navigation and finding food and where to camp and all that, but then the dynamic between us. And uh, it's exciting, of course, but also she might ditch me halfway across the country. Yeah, we've been together three months. A month of that, we've been separated yeah, on different so trips. Not that long, really. Yeah, not that long. We like don't live together or anything like that. I have not been in a relationship, a committed relationship for seven, eight years. Are you committed to me now? I'm committed to okay, you, Okay, yes. good. <laughs> Woo! At the end of this, hey, listen. Oh, what? Sorry. <laughs> At we the still need the bikes here? We don't really need the bikes here. It's kind of an awkward position. I'm like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's kind of a nice, Armrest though. Okay, we'll move the bikes. Thank you, Trek. Thank you, Jocelyn. Oh, why do you tell we me love my you. pants run button? <laughs> oh, I didn't know they run buttons. Luckily, it was blocked by the Trek checkpoint. <laughs> Check, Trek. We love you, Trek and Jocelyn. We love you so much. We are gonna make you so proud. You've never sat on a bike for more than eight hours at a time, I'm guessing. No, and. Yeah, I have very little experience with the road bike. I'm intimidated by that. The are position you, is like, Nyeh. Yeah, are you it hurts. Are you worried about your butt? And more about my back. Really? Uh, your butt's gonna hurt. Oh, I, I have a tough little butt. All right, we'll see. Do I feel it? Yeah, oh. Hey, that's, she's gonna get me a lot more viewers with that kind of stuff. <laughs> yes, I always needed somebody sexy in my videos to finally get my subscriptions up. Was I, I was talking about the end of this ride. It's gonna be two and a half months. We want, I would like to be even more in love, which is hard to believe right now, but I want to be like, oh my God, we just did this amazing thing together. We met so many incredible people and the end of it be like, damn, look what we did. That's what I was going to say for my goal. Oh, sorry. I am really excited to spend two and a half months just with you exploring, building this relationship and also getting to know my country in a way that I never have before. There's something about when you move slowly through a space, how you can really develop a deep relationship with it. And I just haven't really done that in America. Yeah. I'm in a car. I'm zooming by. Um, I'm also excited to sleep outside. Yeah. Under the stars. Yes. Fireflies. We don't have fireflies in Colorado. Mm. So as we get further east, we better see some fireflies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Country fairs. Country fairs, small town fairs. We're going to be sleeping in your backyards. Dirty diners. I love a dirty roadside diner. Roadside attractions. Roadside attractions. Yeah. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I mean, I have, as you know, I love traveling by bicycle. It's showed me so much of the world. And when you're on a bike, you're not an intimidating figure. You can just roll up in this small town and people are like, hey, who's that weirdo on a bike? And you just, it starts up conversations so quickly. I've never had a problem meeting people on these bike trips. And I'm really excited to share this with you. Really excited for you to experience like why I love doing this so much. I'm super excited for that too. And I think that I will love traveling by bike myself, even though I've never done much of it. The best way to follow us, since I'm not going to be able to put up videos every single day, my goal is two videos a week on YouTube. The best way to follow us is on our Instagram accounts, at Doozer and at... Elisa Geiser. We'll put that right here. 
maybe a little bit of Twitter, maybe we'll do some live stuff as we go, but we wanna make this interactive with you. That's really another part of the goal, is we wanna share these stories with you, but we also want you to kind of direct us and tell us where to go. So Ryan, as we're biking across the country, we're gonna be asking people for love advice. For love advice. And I thought maybe it'd be fun if we could share some advice for each other just from the start. <laughs> what advice would you have for me? For, for dealing with me? For, yeah, for loving you. <laughs> for loving me. Um, man, advice. Mm. I would say to just have some patience with me. Uh-oh, phone, turn it off! Dang it, because when I do these rides, I really feel like I want you to have the best experience ever, so I feel like I have all the, the burden of like making sure it's perfect every day and the route's perfect every day and that you're well fed and sometimes I might get frustrated or just like freak out because it's like really I'm just, I want you to have the best time ever. I've done this and now I want you to like love it as well. And if we get into situations where, you know, it's not going that way, just uh, wait longer. Yeah, how about you go next? <laughs> I would say not to take things too personally. If mm. I am being really quiet or kind of like snippy or sullen, um, just give me some space. Yeah. And let me just have some alone time. And <laughs> chances are, I will snap out of it. All right, cool. But yeah, usually if I'm in a bad mood, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Because if it does, I'm gonna let you know. These rides are difficult, they're stressful. You know, you're maybe not sleeping very much because you're on the side of the road and it's raining or it's hot or it's cold. And like, yeah, a lot of, you know, stresses on your mind and your body come out when you do this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be together dealing with this and uh, I think we're gonna be able to help each other, but also there, there's the, the risk of us like bumping heads and like pissing each other off. I would say the other thing, perhaps more specific to me, is that I can kind of be like an old nag, you know, like the horse that you can like, will just go until it dies. Yeah. And I will push myself until I, yeah. not die, I mean, I haven't died yet. Yeah, good thing. Um, but, so to just like help me be gentle with myself. Yeah, that's good. I promise. No, uh, that. You take such good care of me. Once again, everybody out there who already follows me, thank you so much. It means the world to me that you enjoy my videos. I'm so excited to introduce you to the beautiful Ali. She's gonna be with me for a lot more adventures in the future. If you wanna tell your friends about this, it's gonna be a great summer. The series is gonna be awesome. You're gonna see the best of America. You're gonna see beautiful landscapes, you know, inspiring stories and a lot of goofiness. And I'm thrilled to be meeting all you brilliant humans and be sharing this adventure with you, so thank you. Yeah, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily she thinks my humor is humorous. Some people think I'm a total nerd. <laughs> I don't think that blocked anything. <laughs>